Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Now Nation Recap. I'm John Orlando. I'm joined by Michael Pagano. Michael, how are you doing this afternoon? I am doing good, John. And, John, we have a good one, a battle of big men this week, something we mm -hmm. haven't seen a whole lot here on the Now Nation Recap. We have Jock Sampson going up against Brian Castle, Brian Castle known as the world's most huggable wrestler, and that is something <laughs> that we do see coming into this match. So interesting point about this match is these two were former tag team partners and not only that but former tag team champions in IWC the International Wrestling Cartel they were tag team champions this is their only one-on-one -on -one match to date and it took place at NOW2 and John it is shaping up to be a really good match yeah, and you got the uh, two personalities that could be couldn't be mirror opposites, yeah. and they're going to be in the same ring. And that's why when you mentioned that they were tag team partners, I was like, "What?" Scratching my head. That's that's inconceivable. But uh, indeed, in wrestling, you know, uh, like much like politics, strange bedfellows. That's all I'm going to say. So let's go up to the ring to see Brian Castle take on Jock Sampson. Our opening match up is scheduled for one fall. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to New Ohio Wrestling. It's NOW2 Battle for the Bands. I'm John Orlando, sitting here with the rugby thug, Trent Baker. How you doing? I am doing great, John, and I'm looking forward to a, a great night of wrestling action. And also joining us, of course, in the broadcast position here is Viper. Viper, how are you? John, what's going on? Well, we're going to see here Jock Sampson, the Appalachian Outlaw, a man who has absolutely no respect for anybody here in Groveport, Ohio. He has said that multiple times in his various different videos that he's posted online about how much he doesn't like Groveport, how much he doesn't like the band. Oh, and now, now we're going to get more words from Jock. Uh -oh. Well, it's good to see that the people of Groveport did not have a blizzard today. Now, first of all, that's not really funny. I, I don't... Yeah, it is. It's the armpit of Southern Ohio here. Okay, so I'll okay. just sound the well, Columbus. Okay. All right. That's... I, I agree with him every, every bit of it. Well, Jock, of course, a standout football player. It does not appreciate other, uh, other people in, involved in the football season, such as the band or the cheerleaders of the color guard. Respect for my family. No, I don't know how he feels about rugby, but... Uh, well, <laughs> well, now... <laughs> I, I, he probably would not like it because it's European uh, yeah. and he's from America. I was all state in high school in football. That makes me ten times. Now you know this, uh, these guys tonight, Jack and uh, and Brian, former uh, tag team partners, and Jack, the Appalachian outlaw, he carried the world's most huggable wrestler, Brian Castle, up and down the road on the entire circuit, and so uh, it's going to be an interesting matchup tonight. You know, Trent, can I ask you a quick question? You know, I'm sure somewhere in your wrestling career you've had to take on somebody that you've you've traveled the roads with, that you've done battle with, and, and you know, as a partner in the ring, and somebody you've trained with. So what are the pros and cons to facing somebody that used to be so close with? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you you know your, uh, you know, your former friend's strengths and weaknesses. Um, you know what they're good at in the ring, what they're not good at in the ring. And you can use that to your advantage. Um, I think with Brian Castle, I think he's gonna just going to have to focus uh, on, on Jock and not on their past you know, friendship. Well, they were a very successful tag team throughout the Midwest. And here we come. Here, here he is. Brian Castle, the world's most huggable wrestler. There's one hug. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure that's one of many. Yeah, I don't think he's going to get a hug from Jock. Uh, well, no, I guarantee he maybe is a not. Hug. Yeah, well, you see how big he is. Jock having to carry that guy throughout the uh, the circuit when they're traveling up and down the road as partners. Look how big that guy is. Let himself go. Completely gone to waste. Well, well now, yeah. you know, Viper, I'm going to disagree with you here. You may look at Brian Castle and go, that guy's not. Do you think he's intentionally doing it? No, what, no that intentionally getting fat? Yeah. I don't, no, that, that's the most preposterous thing I've ever heard. Who? <laughs> Anyways, uh, I, you look at him, he doesn't look like an athlete, but I'll tell you right now, when he gets in the ring, he can go. 
He yeah. is quite a, a, a comparable wrestler. Yeah, I, I agree. You know, you can't always judge a book by the cover. And he does have an extensive amateur wrestling background prior to, uh, to turning pro. Um, so, yeah, you, you might be surprised at what you see from, from Brian Castle. Let's be honest, too. He's strong as an ox. Oh, I yeah. mean, he, he's a big boy, and he is pretty strong. And you know what? The referee's got to get that cowbell out of the hands of Jock Sampson because I've seen him use that many, many times in the past to his advantage. Yeah. And, well, there we go. It's, it's, on, the, it's on the turnbuckle yeah. there. And even if he doesn't use it, it's still kind of a psychological uh, advantage because uh, you know, Brian Castle knows it's there, and, and he knows that Jock won't hesitate to use it when the referee's not looking. And now, oh, look at that. From the back, so from from behind, with a big clubbing blow, and then he just kicked him in the shins. I don't know how effective that's going to be, but Samson now takes him to the corner. Big chop from the Appalachian Outlaw. And he's certainly got, oh, look, a back rake. That's, <laughs> come on, referee, you got to yeah. admonish him for that. That is classic Jock Samson. You know, you're not going to see a lot of technical wrestling from him. Uh, you're going to see a lot of what you're seeing right now. Uh, punches, kicks, rakes to the back, and maybe a hip toss here. You know. Or two. Well, he's got the arm of Castle now just driving that elbow down and now just continuing to twerk right on that left arm. Oh, he's got it really twisted up there, Trent. Yeah, uh, and there you see the agility from, wow. from Brian Castle. Yeah. He, you know, rolled right through and, and, and reversed the hole. Now he's showing some of his amateur skills. He's got a side headlock now on Jock Sampson. Jock trying to think of a way to get out of this. And wow, and look at this. Yeah. Step over into the arm bar. Mm hmm. Very well done by one Mr. Brian Castle. So what do you think Trent Bryan's game plan is here tonight? Like, do you think that he's just kind of feeling out jog right now at this particular moment? Do you think he has a game plan from the time he hits the ring to the time the bell sounds? Yeah. I, oh, now look at that. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but that <laughs> a gouge right to the eye. Yeah, I, I hope part of his game plan is to avoid stuff like that. Uh, but he, he has to know that Jock is one of the dirtiest wrestlers out there. And uh, he's got to expect stuff like that. And I think in Brian Castle's case, he's got to fight fire with fire. You know, if Jock's going to get a little underhanded, he needs to give it back to him in spades. And, and why not? Because the ref's letting it go. And there's another brutal chop from Jock Sampson. And another chop. My, oh, my. Channeling your inner Ric Flair, you are Jock Sampson. And now he's mouthing to the fans. That yeah. Well, it, it should be noted that several weeks before uh, tonight's event, uh, Jock Sampson posted two videos uh, where he was actually in Groveport and he ran down the citizens of Groveport and the uh, members of the Groveport Madison uh, marching band. Well, they're just they're just starting to play. I mean, I, I've had fourth grade classes that play a lot better than these high school oh, bands on, here tonight. Dude. Fourth grade class. Why are you in an elementary school? <laughs> Well, with people of Groveport, that's the only way you can talk to them. you got to come down to their level oh, so you can have a oh, decent my, conversation oh, with them. Yeah. I apologize for Viper's comments, ladies and gentlemen. Right. But, I, you know, the officials at NOW had wanted Jock to send uh, videos talking about his debut and his opponent. And, and what we got in, instead was just uh, very despicable uh, comments. And uh, I hope there's some extra security uh, for tonight because the people of Groveport, if, no. uh, if Jock wins, they're, they're might, they might riot. And that, there, there you go. We saw that Brian Castle, while we were talking, that was on a roll with a couple forearms, a couple chops, and now Jock Sampson again with a thumb to the eye, now Snapmare. Yeah. And he looks like he's measuring up Castle for something. Maybe a big elbow drop possibly here. That's what he's calling for. I don't know. I would not tell my opponent what I'm about to do to them. I would just do it, but we'll see how this pans out for Jock. He seems to be taking a lot of time. John with the fans. Here's the wind-up. And there's no water in the pool, as they say. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes uh, that oh, backfires. No. Oh, no. Oh, my. What a leg That's drop. a lot of leg coming down on top this, of uh, this is it. I think yeah. this might Mr. Be Castle it. there. Yeah. One, two, uh, the foot's on the yeah. rope. And... You know, Trent, I, I know you have been inside that squared circle. You know how it is. You know, ring presence has got to be key. Absolutely. You know, that just shows uh, the experience oh. of Jock. And <laughs> there's more experience, you see, uh, right there. But, yeah, you, you have to know where you're at in the ring at all times. And, you know, when you, when you get your bell rung, it's, it's not always easy, you know, to know where you're at. But he had the presence of mind to, to put his foot on the rope. And now John with the fans some more. Jock Sampson coming back in after another eye gouge. I think that's been three so far. And now just laying the boots right to Castle. Yeah. Yeah, that's what Jock's, you know, he's all about. He, he likes a good fight. He wants to get his money, and then he wants to go drink beer. 
And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. <laughs> they, do, not... they do drink beer pretty well here in Groveport. Yeah, there's a few establishments, I, from what I've heard anyway. Big elbow smash right to the right to the jaw of Brian Castle, and he is down. He's looking a little worse for wear, gentlemen. And here's cover. One, two, uh, kick out. He just barely got that shoulder up. Yeah, uh, Jock, his style is very methodical. You know, you're not going to see a lot of uh, flashy maneuvers. But what he does, he, he wears his opponent down um, throughout the course of the match. Oh, big boot from Brian Castle. Maybe this is the turning point that Brian needs. I mean, we're going up about the six, seven minute mark here, and, and these gentlemen are just continuing to just bash each other to no end. Mm -hmm. And it looks like Jock Sampson still jawing with the fans as he's now back in control. Another back rake. And Brian Castle is not enjoying it. A little maybe salute to Stan Hansen, if you will, there with the with the, the bull horns. Yeah, and I don't I don't think the fans really uh, appreciate it. Um, I think they're solidly behind the Brian Castle in this match. And a big double sledge to the back of Brian Castle. And now just a, a just a quick chin lock there. And you know what, Trent, you can tell. Uh, you can tell me, you can tell the fans, how effective is this hold? Yeah, I mean, when you've, when you've got a guy's uh, you know, hands around your, your chin just squeezing as hard as he can, uh, puts a lot of pressure on, on the jaw. Um, you, you might start to get lightheaded. And it gives you a break. If you're Jock Sampson, you got a minute to rest, right? you got a few seconds yeah, there can, to catch you, a win. Yeah, you can rely on your, on your grip strength. Uh, but yeah, as you see Brian Castle, though, he, he's fighting out of it. Oh my, wow, what a drop kick. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You got to give it to Jock Sampson. It, 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 whether you like him or dislike him, that was a heck of a How drop. How can you kick. not like him? Yeah. Well, I I think we could. Anyways, here's a cover one, two, and whoa, wow, that was yeah. almost a three. Yeah, it's not often you see uh, Jock leave his feet, uh, but when he does, you know he makes it count. Uh, look, Jock Sampson likes to, to to cut corners. He likes to cheat. He likes to just hey, pound hey, on not you. cheating. You know, it's well, uh. Yeah, he's effective at what he's doing here. You know, he didn't get to be the Appalachian outlaw by giving hugs and, and kissing babies, you know? Well, right now he's perched on the second rope. He's looking to do more damage to Brian Castle. I don't know what he's got planned, but he's coming off. Oh, he didn't quite connect with what he wanted to, and Castle got him with a shot to the midsection. And Jock Sampson is looking a little worse for wear right here. Maybe is this what Brian needs? Big clothesline coming off the ropes and a big back elbow. And here we go. Brian Castle trying to get the fans behind him. Here we go. Yeah. Whip off the ropes. And, ooh, a big Polish hammer a la Ivan Putski. Yeah, and this is what he needs to do. He needs to stay on Jock and, and eventually go for that cover. Yeah. Nice clothesline. Here we go. One, two, but I don't think Brian Castle had all of his weight over Jock's shoulders. No. Allowed him to get one quick shoulder up, and, and that breaks the count. And Brian Castle's got to be feeling it. The fans are behind him. They're trying to get him to rally. And another eye gouge. Come on, referee. Yeah. Yeah. You see, he, he had Brian was in position to where the referee couldn't see that eye poke. Again, just veteran, you know, veteran experience from, from Jock. And there was a quick elbow to the back of the neck of Brian Castle. Now Jock Sampson's looking to maybe end this. Here comes a running lariat, maybe. Oh, just a big splash. That wasn't fancy, but it was effective. Showboating some more, Jack Sampson, he certainly loves to get under the skin of the crowd, whether here in Groveport or wherever he's at. Here we go, another big splash. Oh, wow, that's two. Trent, I don't know, do you think that Brian can survive a third one if, if Jack decides to go for it? And he's going for it, but wait a minute. Whoa. Uh, that's what you call a splash. Wow. That's an old avalanche splash uh, a la King Kong Bundy. And now Brian Castle whips him into the other corners, and maybe Brian's going to go for another one. Full steam ahead here. This is like getting hit by a freight train. He might be taking too much time, though. And oh, my. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, schoolboy. Here we go. One, two, wait a minute. His feet's on the ropes. Come and there on. you have it. Oh, come on. The Appalachian Outlaw steals a victory, yeah. putting his feet on the ropes, giving himself some leverage that he didn't have, and there the referee raises the hand of Jock Sampson, who is victorious here at NOW2. Yeah, no one should be uh, surprised by the, the result of that match. You know, Jock, like I said, he's he, he's seen it all, he's done it all, he knows every dirty trick in the book, and uh, it was just too much for Brian Castle tonight. Well, that is unfortunate that Brian Castle did not get the victory, though he gave it his all. And there goes Jock Sampson. He's heading back to the locker room. He is your victor in our first match. 
And there you see a dejected Brian Castle leaving the ring, Trent. I mean, he's got to be disappointed he didn't get the victory. Yeah, I, I spoke with Brian earlier in the day, and he really wanted to get the win for the people of Groveport. But, and, and you can see the fans are trying to tell the referee, but you know, once the referee makes that decision, it's final. So it just didn't go Brian's way. And John Jock Sampson picking up the victory over Brian Castle, his former tag team partner. Obviously, Jock Sampson, not the biggest fan favorite in NOW. We mm. would go on to see him several more times in NOW. We wouldn't see Brian Castle anymore, but Jock Sampson would go on to do battle with Marion Fontaine. They would end up wrestling at NOW4 in a match that we covered several months ago here on the mm -hmm. Now Nation recap. And what was a fun match? at Battles for the Band in Groveport, Ohio. So you can check that one out on our YouTube channel. It's one of our first Now Nation recaps. And that was a good match indeed. But John, Jock gets the win. Jock Sampson picks up the win, as you said, uh, Michael, uh, beating the world's most huggable wrestler. And you know what? We've been showcasing a lot of talent here in NOW. And you never know who's going to walk through the doors at NOW. And, you know, we're looking to the future. We can't wait to get back to live action. And so to keep tabs on what wrestlers are coming, where we're going to be, all that fun stuff, you got a couple different ways you could do that. Head on over to the website. It is www.newohiowrestling.com. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram. Just search for at New Ohio Wrestling. And Twitter, the handle there is at New Ohio Wrestling. No G at the end. And check us out. Keep tabs on us. And just, we really do appreciate all the support, even in such a troubling time that uh, this year has been. Can't wait to be back to live action. And you know what? I think with that, let's get on out of here, Michael. For Michael Pagano, I'm John Orlando. We'll see you on the next Now Nation Recap. Folks, I hope you are enjoying seeing the Now Nation Recap on Facebook. For a while, we only had it available on YouTube, but now it is also available on Facebook. So every Friday night, at 7 p.m., we are having a live stream of the Now Nation recap. So tune in 7 p.m. on the New High Wrestling Facebook and check out the Now Nation recap.